Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to go through how to automate multiple portfolios at the same time in the Shrimpy application. Essentially, what this means is you can divide your funds into multiple portfolios and then each one of those portfolios can have its own unique strategy. As you can see, starting off on the dashboard, I currently have multiple portfolios that have been allocated. I have Portfolio 1, Portfolio 2, and Portfolio 3. If I want to automate Portfolio 1 and Portfolio 2, all I have to do is go to the Automation tab and select the automations I want to attach to these portfolios. So say, for example, I want Portfolio 1 to use my square root index with no optimization for maker trades. I can go to uh, this strategy, as you can see here, as it's already selected. And then all I need to do is click Start Automation. And now you can see the different portfolios that I've created. And I will select Portfolio 1. And then go ahead and select Start Automation. And then let's say I wanted to create a new strategy for Portfolio 2. I can do that by selecting the plus sign next to My Automations. And then I can either allocate from my balances by just clicking here. This will take my balances from the exchange and populate them into this list. Or what I can do is I can allocate my own portfolio either through an index or through uh, new unique assets. So let's go ahead and pick some assets for this portfolio. So say I want the top five assets that aren't stable coins. All I would do is select Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, uh, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. After selecting these, go ahead and select Add. And then now we can use these sliders to select any percentage that we want. So say we want 25% Bitcoin, 20% Ethereum, 15% XRP, uh, maybe another 20% of Bitcoin Cash, and the remainder 20% in Litecoin. Let's go ahead and save this portfolio. We can name it whatever we want. For this example, I'm just going to call it Example Portfolio. And now we saved that. And you can see the other settings on this side allow us to create a custom strategy based on different rebalancing periods or thresholds. Uh, dollar cost averaging, fee optimization, and of course controlling for max spread and slippage. So let's go ahead and use the periodic rebalancing strategy. And for this strategy, I'm going to rebalance every four days. This is just selected randomly. There's no particular reason for me to select four days. But uh, for this example, we will use four days. And let's say we want to optimize our fees by using Maker Trades. All right, so now we can click Save. And then now that this automation has been successfully updated, we can start this automation by clicking this button. And as you can see here, we already have Portfolio 1 being automated by the Square Root Index automation. So let's go ahead and select Portfolio 2. As you can see, there's also a checkbox here that allows you to begin rebalancing immediately. That would essentially mean as soon as I click the Start button, it would execute a rebalance and allocate the assets I have in this portfolio. For this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to select the Start button. That means the first rebalance will be four days from now because I have selected a periodic rebalance of four days. So as we can see on the dashboard now, if we go back to the dashboard, we have strategies attached to Portfolio 1 and Portfolio 2. At any time, you can select this View Automation button, and it will take you to the automation that is currently being connected to each portfolio. So for Portfolio 1, that would be the square root for the other portfolio. Portfolio 2, that would be the example portfolio. And this information is also provided right here on the sidebar. You can see the active portfolio that's being automated by the strategy. You could see the rebalancing period and the number of assets. This makes it easy and quick to navigate and to select new strategies. At any time, we could select a different strategy. Say I want to use the diverse portfolio strategy. I can select automation, uh, start automation, 
and I can select to override one of these portfolios. So if I want this strategy to now automate portfolio two, I could select portfolio two and it will override my previous strategy. So I could select start and it would automate this portfolio then. Also, at any time, we can select the automation that is currently automating a portfolio. So this one's automating portfolio one. I can select edit and I can unselect that portfolio. And if I click start, that will deselect portfolio one for this automation. And this portfolio will no longer be automated by this strategy. I can also do multiple things in one go. So I can remove the automation from portfolio one and I could override this strategy for portfolio two. That is all possible kind of through this dialogue right here as soon as I click start. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and cancel and get back to the dashboard and quickly have an overview of the assets and the strategy that we have connected. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. We're always happy to help. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.